Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the inverts and if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Today we are looking at morning geckos and we are doing a morning gecko setup slash build. I used to be quite put off by using the spray foams and expanding foam until I had a go myself and it is so, so easy. So if you're thinking about doing it at home, give it a go. It is so easy. So we started off by laying our tall exoterra on its back. We covered the background with a layer of expanding foam, pressed two pieces of cork bark into it, let it cure for 24 hours before getting a spray can of black paint out and spraying all the spray foam that was in there. We also sprayed the sides of the enclosure and what this did was to help keep those morning geckos feeling nice and comfortable. We also then got some silicone, um, aquarium grade silicone, so we know it's safe for our animals. And we painted the whole entire back, all where we painted in black, so all the whole entire foam. And then we pressed coir, nice and dry coir, into, into that silicone, and that what gives us the end look, which is the foam covered in all of the coir to make it look a little bit naturalistic. What the coir also does is help to retain moisture. So we added some clay balls followed by the mesh. The substrate, getting our enclosure ready for some plants. We filled up both of those in court parks as well with enough substrate so we can plant it out. Now with the plants, just go down the garden center, take your phone with you, make sure you've got Google. Google the plant names, find out how big they grow and if their overall look when they grow is exactly what you want in your enclosure. And you can always ask Google to make sure that the plants that you are using are safe for your morning geckos. And we've put four adult females in this enclosure. We have got plant LED bulbs are going across the top as well as a low UV. Now, interestingly enough, not all morning geckos are actually female. Sometimes they pop out a male, which are smaller and darker in colour, but doesn't our enclosure fit in well with our other bioactives that we've got going on, or to be correct, are planted. And this is what our planted enclosure looks like after two or three days, all watered in, all bedded in. Really looking forward to seeing how this one actually grows out. Boom, so that was the Morning Gecko enclosure build and setup. Really, really quick video for you guys. So, so easy. I wish I'd started using that expanding foam a long, long time ago because you really do have nothing to worry about. If you make any mistakes, well, it's not mistakes because you can go over with that silicon and cover it full of coir anyway. You could even press some of the orchid bark into the silicon as well as the silicon. Now, I made the mistake of forgetting to wear a mask and I paid the price because as it's lying on its back, I've put my head over and it burnt my left, my left nostril and the pain was quite bad. So please guys, remember to follow the manufacturer's um, health and safety and wear appropriate PPE when guided to by the manufacturers of any products you use. Um, going forward, I would really, really like to get a misting system and um, apply that to that tank as well. I'm loving the painted size of the enclosures. In fact, we have done it with these as well. These little enclosures, we are now painting the sides and also spray paint in the back. And I think it makes a pretty much good, good, you know, good difference. It does really does bring out the plants, the ivy and the spider when the spider comes out. Now guys, if you've made it this far and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscription button, get your notifications turned on so you're reminded of when we upload, which is every Monday and every Thursday at 7 p.m. British Standard Time. We also go live every single Tuesday at 8 p.m. for several hours. This Tuesday coming, we've got Dave's Little Beasties on. He's a fan favorite. Um, one of my idols, somebody that I look up to in the hobby as well. So we're really, really looking forward to having Dave on again. Anyway, thank you so much for your time. And as always, we shall see you again on the next one.